Hello Internet, welcome to the Questionable Podcast. I'm your host, Magdiel Lopez. Today, at being the pilot episode, we have a pretty interesting topic for you. First, I'd like to ask you a question. If you were, if you were given the chance to go back in time and change your life, how would you choose to live? I ask myself this question a lot, and I think if most people were given the chance to go back in time, They'd probably take a few more risks and live their lives without a few of their regrets. Maybe there was a girl in your class who you later discovered had a bit of a crush on you. Maybe you'd shoot your shot and get into a relationship. Maybe it wouldn't work out, but at least you'd tried. You know, maybe you'd make better choices, stop hanging out with those friends who always brought you down. Then you'd kind of be the negative person, but at least you knew that in the future, they wouldn't be the, be uh, the best for you. Maybe you'd explore and pursue your interests a little bit more. Maybe that little hobby that you kind of let go because society told you it wasn't going to go anywhere. Uh, it's something that you pursued a little bit more and actually developed into something worth value. That is what we're talking about today. Value and personal development. You might be wondering, hey, what, what do you mean personal development and these things about values and exploring interests and what if we got to choose the way we lived? Well. According to Wikipedia, which is the best resource to use for this, personal development consists of activities that develop a person's capabilities and potential, build human capital, facilitate employability, and enhance the quality of life and the realization of dreams and aspirations. So to put into layman's terms, you know, f English for me and you, it's simply becoming better as an individual. Personally, I've only started my personal my person I can't speak my own personal development journey for about a year and a half and most of that has not been conscious you know I've been working out for about a year and playing guitar consistently for six months and recently I've really enjoyed reading through my own exploration of personal development I'd like to talk to you about three main points that I think make personal development worth worth it for everyone I truly believe that personal development is an endeavor that everyone should pursue and have at, in some form in their life. Let me start explaining myself. Number one, the biggest reason why you should have some kind of personal development is to increase your value. When we increase our value, we are unconsciously increasing our self-worth. We are getting the respect of others because that's what other people respect. You have to earn that respect, and in order to res uh, earn it, you have to first show that you have some form of worth yourself. And to increase your value, you can develop a skill like programming or some gain some kind of knowledge about nutrition or engineering, and you could even uh, just simply take care of yourself a little bit more. Have something that other people want this is valuable because if someone else wants it and i mean truly wants it it probably cost you a lot of time and that's ultimately how you're going to increase your value putting your time into activities that really increase that value that take a lot of time time is probably the most valuable currency that anyone has and we can't get it back once we spend it. You have 24 hours in a day, and a third of them are used, or at least should be used, for things like sleep, resting, um, getting proper nutrition, you know, the your very basic needs. So you're left with 16 to 12 hours for proper work, proper creation and development, of either yourself or some form of project and when you put that time into the project and you're constantly trying to improve it you're constantly trying to give it more value you bring your own self-worth up and it earns the respect of others because other people want that high value work other people want to know why how the what the when the where they start seeing this project, this value, and they want it, and you, you res they respect that. And when you earn that respect, when you have that increased self-worth, uh, self 
you're increasing your quality of life when you're constantly improving how you the things that you can do and the skills that you have you are increasing the way you can live if you've become stronger from working out in the gym you can physically live easier because now th you're simply able to do more than you were in the past if you've been gaining more knowledge and more wisdom from either reading or like productively getting more information you're going to be able to live your life with a little bit more information with a little bit more culture and appreciation for the things in your life and that increased quality of life can help others increasing your own quality of life is always going to increase the quality of life of the people around you and this is probably the most important reason why you should start personal development number one increasing your own value which is increases increases your own self-worth and brings the respect of others number two you increase your own uh, quality of life you simply live easier and better and enjoy life more and then the third reason the most important reason is because you, your own value starts to impact the world around you you will improve so many skills and you'll have so much value you'll create so much high value work that others will see you as an inspiration others other people will admire that and they'll they'll see it and they'll want it they'll they'll want to know you know all those what when whys uh, and how you choose to respond to that is very important because now you impact the world when you've increased your value so much that people want you you have control and influence and this is going to bring me now to my conclusion personal development is something everyone should have because then you start getting that influence then you start getting that control over uh and impact but what should you do with it what, now that you have that value now that you've increased your own uh self-worth and that you're, you've increased your value and quality of life how should you go about it well, this is all up to you, but personally, I believe that we should really try to up our own value to increase the value of others. Now that we can impact the world around us, now that we can offer something of value, we shouldn't keep it to ourselves <laughs> like we're some kind of Spanish kings from the 15th century. I think if we have knowledge, we should use it to bring the people around us uh, and help them progress. If we have dedicated a lot of time to the gym and are strong, we should protect those who are weaker, the, the smaller ones. Uh, maybe it can be the future generation, maybe it's your own kids, but use that to protect, use that to provide for others. If you have developed some kind of skill in programming or engineering, use that skill to build for others, to create for others. That is this podcast. I might not <laughs> be the most valuable person but i believe i have something to give and i want to give it in the form of this podcast i want to be able to record a quick 10 minute 15 minute episode and bring you something i want to be able to give you more value i want you to be able to to join in and interact engage uh and have something to take away from this I have a little bit of experience uh, with a little bit of everything. I know a little bit about a lot. And if there's anything I can help you with, if there's anything I can give you through this podcast, I want to be able to give that to you. I don't want to deny you your own personal development. This is why personal development is so important because it helps us develop as individuals and as a group, as a community. That's what I want this podcast, this channel uh, to be about. That's what it's always been about. It's been trying to, to bring a sense of community to people who uh, want to grow. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Questionable Podcast. Uh, like I said, what, what's the point? I, I explain it to you now. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the concept. I will be posting every once a week, maybe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to stay interacting with the... Well, with me, I guess. 
with the creator and if you want to be able to you know give your 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 impact if you want to bring your own value to this podcast because i will definitely be taking suggestions i'll be taking questions a lot of this podcast is going to be is going to be exactly that you know i asked you a question like a hypothetical at the beginning of this episode you know what would you do if you could go back in time um and sometimes we'll simply discuss that one topic simply we'll discuss that one hypothetical maybe we'll discuss a quote or some kind of knowledge that i can bring with you ultimately it's gonna be up to you to whatever you guys would like like i'm just trying to bring you guys something so this has been the questionable podcast i hope you enjoyed this pilot episode um i hope you guys have a great day uh you know keep working hard keep your chin up uh and be the change guys i'll see you later Peace.